Italian plosive consonants. Remember, these are the ones that the breath stops momentarily while passing through the articulators. So if you think of the bilabial pairing, b and p, the voiced and unvoiced, then the dental voiced and unvoiced pairing, d and t, and then the velar voiced and unvoiced pairing, g and k. So b, p, d, t, g, k are your consonants. The English sound, pure. Italian, puro. English, paradise. Italian, paradiso. Prince, principe. Pilgrim, pellegrino. Proverb, proverbio. Appear, parere. Pardon, perdono. Perish, perire. Perfect, perfetto. Please, piacere. The B in English versus Italian. Beauty, p, beauty, you hear there's a p in there. There's more air. It's more aspirated. Aspiration means having air in it. Beauty, bella, brilliant, brillante, blessed, beato, breeze, brezza, abandoned, abbandonato, brunette, bruna, embrace, abbraccio, bold, baldo, Abrupt, brusco. Brief, breve. K, crown, corona. Content, contento. Cross, croce. Castle, castello. Crystal, cristallo. Court, corte. Cruel, crudele. Color, colore. Cupid, cupido. Calm, calmo. The G, gallant, galante, grace, garbo, gallery, galleria, greed, goloso, garland, ghirlanda, grain, grano, leg, gamba, grasp, germire, glove, guanto, grand, Grande. The Z, or the voiced Z, so your voiced dental fricative is formed when you have a, an S followed by a voiced consonant. So remember, your voiced consonants are those that have pitch. So a B, or a D, or a G, or an M, okay? Or an intervocalic single S. So intervocalic, vo vowel, vocalic, vowel, intervocalic between two vowels. So examples, sventura, smentire, sgadare, okay? Intervocalic, viso, tesoro. Things that English speakers need to be very careful of is we don't put enough, enough pitch through the buzziness of the Z, sventura. And again, that goes to the tip of the tongue at the lower teeth, flat of the tongue, meeting at the alveolar ridge. Sventura, viso, tesoro. And then we'll get the Z sound that is in Italian. An S plus an unvoiced consonant, so p, t, k, spera, will be an S. A initial S or a double S or in any other position besides in front of a voiced consonant or between two vowels will be the S sound. Senso, sasso. Exceptions to the intervocalic S rule, the one really you need to remember is the prefix ri. So we have suonare, which means to sound, risuonare, which means to resound. S uh, sanare, Risanare, okay? Stasera, this evening. Ventisei, 26. Compound words, also that intervocalic S will not apply.